Yes, I'm Mike Forbes with Scottish technology innovator, Ace Aquatech. And I'm going to talk to you about our breakthrough welfare innovation for fish slaughter. Now, to bring that journey to life, I like to talk about how I would describe the seafood industry to someone who doesn't work in it like we do. And I usually describe that as being like a journey. A journey from a fish from point A to point B. And like with any journey, you want to arrive at your destination with as little stress as possible. But like with any journey, there's also an opportunity for a lot of stress along the way. And for a fish, that could be anything from feed to infection, from predators to a perfect storm. And if you get past all those hurdles, at the very end of life, there's an even greater opportunity for stress, the stunning and killing process. And the stunning process can be a huge stress for fish, but it doesn't need to be. And it's that firm belief that led us to develop our Humane Stunner Universal. What this is, is an in-water electric stunner, which, whilst fish are still in water, puts electricity through that water and renders them unconscious before they leave. So they stay unconscious and unaware and unstressed until death. I could talk about this a lot, but it's probably easier to bring it to life with a video. In fact, two videos showing you before and after comparison. So if we can ask someone to line up this video here. What we'll see is a salmon farm processing fish, which have not been stunned. I can see coming out highly stressed, difficult to handle, bad for the fish, and not great for the people handling them or the people consuming them. And we can flash it forward to the next video. We'll see an example here of a fish that, a fish that have been stunned. So these fish are coming out of the exact same system. All that's happened is the electric stunner has been turned on. The fish are alive, the heart is still beating, but entirely unconscious, unaware of what's happened. Let's move us forward from this video, please. So when we're talking about what we do as a company and why we actually gravitated towards this innovation in the first place, Everything we're geared towards doing is using technology to accelerate the adoption of responsible marine practices. We work with all the main farms in the UK and many further afield as far as the US, uh, Canada, New Zealand, Australia and throughout Europe. We have three main product areas that we do this within. We have predator deterrents which use sound and electricity to help keep seals and sea lions away from fish farm sites, importantly with no negative impact on those predators with 3D biomass cameras, which we have developed to provide highly accurate and fast readings, which can help reduce the waste of feed in the environment and also accelerate the spotting of health issues. And then we have this electric stunning innovation, in-water electric stunning, that we're going to talk through in more detail just now. We looked at what was happening in the marketplace in terms of trends, and we saw there was consumer demand for greater welfare standards. We saw demand from retailers on their suppliers to meet those consumer expectations. We saw regulatory changes in the EU first and much further afield as well. We saw factories increasing operational efficiency, looking to make the most of their margins. And we also saw that many seafood producers, like I'm sure many of you in this room are, looking to differentiate on quality and no longer just be a commodity. And so we looked at the slaughter process and we thought we would see what technologies currently exist. We saw current practices like CO2 and ice as just being far too inhumane and in many cases actually banned for use in different regions. We saw percussive stunning, where a bolt will go through the head of a fish. And we saw absolutely a big improvement on the first two methods, but we saw there still a large potential for fish stress from different species not being able to go through it properly. And also, if the bolt hits in the wrong place, there's risk of the fish being damaged and stressed and hurt instead of appropriately stunned. We saw dry electric stunning as a method where physical paddles touch the fish to put electricity through the body. Again, a big improvement on the first two methods, but we saw inconsistency, and we also saw potential damage to fish. Um, things like spine damages, things like blood spotting, and we saw this was not going to be appropriate to adopt in a widespread way from the farms that we spoke to and we worked with. And that's what led us to develop this system. Now, it's very simple the way it operates, despite the years of research that went into the production. And what I'll do is I'll talk through with a diagram. 
So we see this example here of a typical in-water electric stunner. You see the dark green in in intake section here. The fish come into this section and then are in water the whole way around the system. The dark green sections are electrodes, simply a metal coating on the inside of the pipe. So the, the electrical field is distributed evenly throughout the water and as soon as the fish enter that water, in less than one second, they're unconscious. When they flow through the system, after being pumped into the pipeline and the electrodes stunning them, they then exit onto either a bleeding table or into ice, and they'll stay unconscious up until the point of death, with no stress to the animal. We've taken that simple design and applied it to many different areas. You see here a boat stunner for sea trout in Denmark designed to fit into the space they had available on that ship. We've used this one for Atlantic salmon in a factory in Scotland. We have ones designed for barges, for sea bass and sea bream, processing these in Greece. And we've even worked in the recirculating aquaculture space that we're hearing so much about now. This for sea bass, sea bream and yellowtail being farmed in Germany. Now there were six main benefits we aimed to achieve this in-water electric stunning and we're very proud and happy to have achieved all six of these. I'll talk through each in quite quick order. First off, and most importantly for us, given our vision as a company, it's a humane method. We believe the most humane method of stunning a fish. A question we get asked a lot is, you know, how do we know the fish are actually unconscious and not just immobile and, and unable to move? We worked with the University of Bristol in the UK to do EEG tests, reading the brain waves of the fish, to ensure that they genuinely were unconscious, and not just immobile. We also looked for a 100% stun rate. The video you saw earlier, you will have seen every single fish coming through unconscious. That's important to us because it's not just important for 90% or 95% of fish to be stunned and treated humanely. We want every fish that's slaughtered and goes through that process to be treated in a humane way, as we believe that's right for the fish, and also it's what consumers are expecting of those farms as well. It's important for us to have no compromise on quality. We've heard from previous experiences with people using dry electric stunning that damage could be an issue, which can affect the quality of the produce that comes out. So we've worked over a number of years to perfect the voltage settings to make sure that when the harvest process is set up correctly, there's no damage issues to the fish involved. We did x-rays for spine damage. We've done advanced texture analysis as well with our partner, Scottish Sea Farms, to ensure that quality. One of our German partners, Fresh Corp, who are processing yellowtail for high-end sushi restaurants, they had verbatim feedback from their customers in these restaurants that due to the higher quality of the electric stunning and also the increased shelf life, they were able to demand a better price premium for those fish coming out as well. Now, we also saw increased efficiency uh, with these factories. Scottish Sea Farms, for example, after moving to in-water electric stunning and changing nothing else in their operation, were able to double their production speeds from 20 tons per hour to 40 tons per hour. And some farms we know are not looking to operate on that scale or double their production, but they are looking for efficiency savings in other ways. The Scottish Salmon Company, for example, as well as the welfare improvements, were looking to reduce headcount on the production line. And having easier to handle fish, they were able to reduce the headcount on a certain part of the production process from four people to two people and made their savings that way. And if I just show this video here uh, very briefly, uh, this is the side by side example comparison. And as much as this factory are doing an automated bleeding process at the end, it also matters the efficiency savings if you're doing hand bleeding. I used to describe it to people as trying to picture picture carrying maybe a six kilogram ball of muscle in one hand and the sharpest knife in your kitchen in the other hand. It's not a good combination when you're dealing with those fish on the left hand side there. Okay, I'll move forward from that as well now. The other benefit we aim to do was have flexibility. We know people are from farming and processing fish of different sizes, so it was important for us not to be limited by the size of the fish. By in-water electric stunning, we just designed the pipe to be the size of the biggest fish you'll process. If it's salmon, for example, a one kilogram salmon and a 10 kilogram sal salmon has exactly the same settings. So you can put any of these fish through at the same time and they'll each get an equal stun as the other. 
We can also set our system up to work with different species. So if you're a farm with maybe processing different types of fish, um, you can do both of those with the same system just by using a touch screen to change the settings or do that remotely. It was important for us to have a low maintenance system as well. We work with farms who are very remote, sometimes multiple boats, planes and seaplanes away from their nearest supply chain. And we also work with people who it's important for their operation to be operating 100% of the time. And so for those farms, it was important that we had no moving parts, that they were seeing other options. It was also important for that to be waterproofed and also to have remote monitoring. So we built all of that into our in-water electric stunning system. And as well as these six, we also find ourselves with an unexpected benefit of no impact on eggs during electric stunning. And so we now work with a hatchery in Alaska to help them increase the yield and quality of their egg production. Through all stages of the development, we've been lucky enough to receive industry recognition as we've progressed. When we first had proof of concept with the technology, uh, the core technology behind the in-water electric stunning, we were honored to be the first non-Norwegian company to win the Aquanor Innovation Award in 2000, 2017. After rolling this technology out to some early adopters, we were then awarded the Queen's Award for Enterprise Innovation in the UK earlier this year. And now we're tremendously proud to be here in Chennai, India with the Global Aquaculture Alliance and all of you as we're starting to see this rolling out globally to more species and offering this more humane method to a wider audience. For us, innovation is the heart of what we do and we're now looking to move this forward in other ways. We've designed this system you see here, which essentially is a large box with a conveyor belt inside it with more complex electrical settings built in. This is designed to work with prawns, lobsters, and other species that require a slightly longer immersion time. There's a conveyor belt that the, the prawns will go on, and then it floats through that box. Importantly, they're still unconscious in less than a second. The prolonged immersion time just controls how long they stay unconscious for when they leave. We also are now working with wild catch fisheries. The retailers we work with tell us it's important that the wild catch welfare standards are as high as the aquaculture companies they work with. And so we're designing very high quantity systems to work with wild catch. This system designed here, capable of doing over 200 tons of fish per hour. We're also looking at other handling events and how we can remove stress from those, such as vaccinations. If we can stun the fish before they go through that process, it removes that stressful event from the fish's life cycle. So with all that said, and you've seen these examples of the, str the stressed and unstressed fish with and without in-water electric stunning, I hope you can see the difference between in-water electric stunning versus previously existing methods. The one thing I just urge you to keep in mind is that whilst that stunning process can be a huge stress for the fish involved, thanks to our in-water electric stunning, it absolutely does not need to be anymore. Thank you.